This is a hammer. And believe it or not, it's a, it's a French hammer, as it happens. But anyway, uh, this will undo most things. Uh, if it doesn't undo it, you can smash it to bits, you can beat it down, you can wear it out, you can smash off all the bits and pieces. It'll do most jobs. In Birmingham, when I uh, come from in the UK, it's called uh, the, <laughs> the Brummie Screwdriver, because you can actually do most screws up with it. You just smack them in, and you get them out by using that end as well. So it is a screwdriver in reality as well. However, for most people in business, they do the same sort of thing, a very blunt, very general, sometimes useful, but not very tailored a solution to their business, whether it's sales and marketing, whether it's looking at training for their team, whether it's looking at systems and equipment or whatever it is, they use one of these. And it doesn't work. Well, it does work, but it's hard work. You have to make a lot of noise, creates a lot more heat than light. It's hard work to use one of these to build something because it works, but it's too much light. It's too heavy. Now, this is a speciality tool. This is a socket, a 36 millimeter socket. It has one function in life. This is supposed to fit, or well fit, I hope, I'll let you know, on the back of the drive shaft on a Ford Expedition SUV, a 5.4 litre Ford Expedition. So I've got to crack the drive shafts with this, take off the rear hubs, replace the bearings, replace the discs, replace the pads, and I can try and do it with that, and I guess over a period of time, it'll probably work, I might, I might have a go. Uh, but if I want to do it elegantly and efficiently, I've got to buy one of these. This is the tool for the job. Now, what's it cost to buy that? That's about 25 bucks, okay? 25 bucks for that. This was 150 bucks. That's a lot more expensive than that. Which one do you buy? Which one do you buy to do the job? Too many people buy that. They buy cheap tools. They buy cheap general tools. They buy people without the real skills. They don't get trained. They just hope for the best. Swing a few lumps around, smack some things with a hammer, and hope for the best, and then life looks good. No, it doesn't. You've got to invest. You've got to buy the right tools. You've got to get the right people. You've got to train the right way. Get them to do the job you want them to do in an elegant, systemized, structured way. This job will take me about an hour per side, I reckon. Jack it up, whack this on, off we go. Life's good. Again, I'll let you know on that one how it works out for me. Using this, I don't know how long it'd take. I've got to smash it to bits. Literally, probably wouldn't ever get it off. But it was cheap. Expensive. Cheap, but it's not expensive, is it? If it works first time, does a job for you. That's the challenge with business and tools and training. Don't buy the hammer. Don't expect your team to use the hammer to do all things. Get in the right tools, whether it's software or hardware or training or whatever it is. Invest some time and money. These are the things that really make a difference in your business. So don't be a, a hammer wheel. Don't use a brummy screwdriver to try and build your business. Go and find some real good tools. I see it a lot doing what I do where people are using really bizarre systems and procedures and toolkits to do um, really wonderful things. But you can do it so much better. Invest. Because if you don't invest in the tools and training of people, somebody else will. And if they can do it faster than you, more quickly, with better quality, they're going to attract the clients away from you anyway. It's a worthwhile investment. It really is. So just consider it. So, I hope that's helpful. Go and spend some money on tools, basically. And uh, if you want some training doing, look at our website, resultsforallsok.com. Lots of, of, of uh, products on there that will help you out, whether it's leadership, negotiation skills, team building, sales and marketing. We'll come and help you, help your team with some fabulous tools and products. So, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please like, comment and share. And uh, I look forward to your comments. Have a great week. In the meantime, I'll see you soon. Take care for now. Bye.